channel how are you doing welcome back to tommy bikes tv in life so i was trying my best not to even cover this particular story but it just keep popping up in my timeline so i just have to do it because obviously these people have lost their mind they are absolutely crazy to be doing what they are they are doing and i'm gonna try to keep this as short i have a video that i'm going to include in here and two articles that is concerning this whole situation that's taking place because if they think people are okay with this then they need to go back to the beginning and start all over again because people are not okay with this i'm seeing so many different TikToks where people are not for this at all and what am i talking about you know when you turn 18 years old and you are a male you are supposed to go either to the post office or wherever and fill out that form, you know, to, to put you into the draft or whatever it is. So that's not optional. You have to do it if you want to get um, go to college or anything like that. You can't get any student loans or anything. So it's it's a thing. OK, but now they have made this thing not say mandatory but automatic you are automatically entered they go down the database and you are automatically entered into this whole situation so let's get into it please hit the like button share this video out so more people will know who probably don't know the u.s house passed bill automatically registering men 18 to 26 years old for the draft and i heard that it was even going to do the girls as well. On June 14, 2024, the U.S. House of Representatives passed H.R. 8070, the National Defense Authorization Act for 2025. A version of the bill gets passed every year because every year the U.S. military needs a budget and Congress has to write a check. So what that got to do with this idiotic bill? Um, but in the proposed version of the bill, one particular item stood out to a lot of people online. The bill, now mind you, they're distracting you with all this other stuff that's going on. So you don't know about this right here. The bill will automatically register all males between the age of 18 and 26 in the selective service system, or in more common terms, the draft. Foreigners will be excluded from this obligation why they want to be here y'all letting all these migrants in here they want to be here they don't want to fight for this country so there is a provision in the bill that will automatically register all eligible men with selective services except as otherwise provided in this title every male citizen of the united states and every other male person residing in the united states between the ages of 18 and 26 shall be automatically registered under the act by the director of the selective service system but online postings indicate a lot of people are confused about exactly what it means so here's what you need to know according to them under the current U.S. law, anyone who was born a man and is currently between the eight. Now, why they throw that in there? We'll, get, we'll roll back to that. Um, born a man and is currently between the ages of 18 and 26 is eligible and required to register for the draft. Once you turn 26, you are out of the draft. The U.S. military has not used that list of names to call people up for military service, i.e. drafted them since the vietnam war but in the case that a draft is reinstated because y'all know we got our toes in everybody's business the u.s needs a list of everyone eligible for service to determine who will actually be called to service that list is maintained by the selective service system and theoretically contains every man eligible for service every man born a man mind you between the ages of 18 to 25 so therefore you can change your sex to become a man but still not have to go into the draft but you you want everything that a man does but you don't have to enter into the draft when you register for the draft you put your name on the u.s government's list draft was unlikely to be used again since the 1970s the u.s has maintained the selective service system and the draft list as a break glass in case of emergency so your name gonna go into that glass and 
because right now Ukraine is fighting their war with Russia. <clears throat> Russia and North Korea sign an agreement. If something take place, they each going to back each other. If y'all didn't know, that's what happened just this week. Um, Putin and Kim Jong-un have decided that they are going to back each other if either gets into conflict with the U.S. or any other country. Um, and what's happening right now, Russia is sitting um, right on the outskirts of Florida in, in Cuba. So that's what's happening with that. Y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it, but I'm going to share this other article with you guys so you'll know exactly what is um, taking place. These are Russian warships that have arrived in Havana port. See them here? American and Canadian warships tracked the Russian submarine as it traveled along the Florida coast, the U.S. Navy has said. A Russian naval um, flotilla that docked in Havana, Cuba last week raised concerns over Kremlin's intentions in the Western Hemisphere amid heightened tensions between the U.S. and Russia over Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine and concerns that it may escalate further. For one, Vladimir Putin has been telling the U.S., y'all, that, you know, y'all keep helping Ukraine. You keep sending them money. You keep sending them ammunition. <clears throat> Eventually, they're going to push back on us. And with him and with Putin and Kim Jong-un doing what they did this week, with signing that agreement with each other and Russia, um, Putin visiting North Korea and them rolling out the red carpet for him and stuff like that. Yeah. People poking fun about, you know, two dictators get together. Who's going to be the girl. Who's going to be the one in charge. Ha ha ha. Until it ain't funny no more. And until they start drafting up um, these 18 year olds to go fight, a war that we don't even have nothing, should have nothing to do with. So during the visit, the missile um, Friday Admiral, the nuclear powered cruise missile submarine Kazan, the oil tanker Pasheen, and the salvage tug passed very close to Florida shores on their way to Havana with open satellite tracking one vessel less than 30 miles off Key Largo ahead of the military drill. So they're doing military drills where they're firing off stuff, but they say that there's no nuclear or anything on these ships. An unnamed U.S. official told the Miami Herald that Russia has split up the Fortilla and sent its nuclear submarine north to the Atlantic and the rest of its warships south where they are likely to dock in Venezuela. So this is what it looks like here. We got a submarine and we have the warships. Now, if you don't think, now I know it's just out of caution, but if you don't think that there is anything that's going to take place or you're just that unsure, this is why Canada and the U.S. have their own warships escorting Russia's warships. This is too close for comfort. This is too close for comfort. An official from U.S. Northern Command told the Miami Herald that the U.S. Navy continues to closely monitor the Russian vessel's movement. Russia, y'all, has even allowed people to come on to their um, ships. Now, I'll get into that in a minute. So it says U.S. and uh, Canadian warships, including USS Destroyer, Truxton, and Coast Guard cutters, as well as the Canadian Frigate, were positioned close to Miami shores and later continued moving north, close to the Florida coast, according to satellite tracking website, marinetraffic.com. So y'all can look that up yourself. So Russia's flotilla, their ship, is within the site of Miami. It says, hashtag Putin is sending a clear message to President, hashtag Biden, um, 
a Russian flotilla cruising within sight of Miami. What's next? That is the question they're asking in this article. And that is the question that I have. And that is the question that a lot of us need to have. And we need to be aware of it and stop following that shiny red ball that they keep throwing out here with different stuff that has nothing to do with our well-being. Okay. And don't sit and say you pass this bill for whatever reason, but then you got all of this other stuff happening. Like we're not supposed to see these things. And this is why my videos don't get pushed. Honestly, this is why I get shadow banned. This is why I get uh, them unsubscribing people from my channel. All of these things happen. And this is why I didn't really want to touch on this whole situation. But here's the little diagram right here. So let's get into this video. Let's get into this video that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to be talking through the video. So that way, hopefully I don't get a copyright from this video. There we go. So what you're seeing here is one of the Russian warships, Russia. And you know, Putin is a very secretive person. He did not want to let them know, you know, how many buildings he had that he was building these, um, submarines and all this other stuff, nuclear stuff. Uh, so all of a sudden he's, they're allowing people to come on board this ship. Mind you, they are monitoring these people very, very closely. I'm going to play it in a minute. They're monitoring them. They allow them to record and everything like that. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure they did not allow them to go in certain areas and they did a head count of how many went in and before anybody left that ship, he did a head count on how many was leaving. So nobody is left behind to try to figure out this, that, and the third. Um, but y'all, this is all too close for comfort. This is all, and I I don't want to hear about conspiracy theory, all this other stuff. This is really happening. Now, it depends on how you want to look at it. Everybody has their own thoughts and opinions. And I look forward to seeing them in the comments, but do, please don't come for me in the comments because I'm just sharing what's happening. Okay. I get a little, you know, hyper on certain things because this is really crazy. I do want it to get out to more people. So y'all please hit that like button um, when this video can get over with. So people were lining up early in the morning. They were um, walking onto this ship. Um, they were being shown around by Russian military. These people actually were fighting in the Ukraine war, but now they're taking a break from it to do this right here. You see children, mothers, fathers, everybody waiting and ready to get on this warship. I mean, if I was there, I would want to see what it looked like to myself, honestly, up close and personal. So he's telling them about what they're where they're going to go. And then they start entering up. Of course, they've done the head count or they're counting them as they enter up. This is the submarine over here on the side. They're actually on the ship. So while they're on the ship, they take them on the inside um, to see the ammo area, etc. I mean, it's a lot, y'all. This warship is 90 miles from the Florida coast. OK. In Cuba, that's you know, that's not that far. People go to Florida and go to Bahamas in no time, go to Cuba in no time, you know. So if they had questions, they tried to answer it, I guess, if they knew English or something like that. But for the most part, people just did a walkthrough and they definitely monitored them. There was somebody in every station to make sure nothing was being tampered with. Um, the guy standing here has all of his weapons on him. He is ready if anything were to take place. And these are all Russian military, you guys. I just think that this is insane that this is happening in 2024. And this is a presidential election year. Nothing. Yes, this happens all the time. They say this happens. See how they're walking through there and people are standing there. They're counting them. Um, this happens all the time, they say. See how he's counting them now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So while this is happening all the time, I just find it really 
crazy that it is happening right now because this is an election year. And <clears throat> we know that Putin favors who he favors. And we know a lot of people don't favor the one that we have right now. Everything is strategic, okay? And I don't know who's running the White House because I've seen some videos lately and I'm, I'm questioning it. I'm like, is he breathing? He's standing there. He's everybody around him singing and dancing and moving. And he's just standing there like confused. So I don't know what's happening. Um, Y'all can get in the comments and let me know. I hope this was news that you can use. Please share this video out with your family and your friends. And I'm not saying I don't think people should be in the military. The majority of my family is military. My husband was military. Okay. Um, but if you would ask him and I have, would you be okay with your child going to fight war, fight a war? And his answer was no. He was like, I will go before I let my son go, um, to fight something that we didn't have to be in, in the first place, which is most wars that we've been in is that we didn't have to be there in the first place anyway. So, um, you guys, it, it, it's a lot that's happening. It's a lot to think about and process. And this will be extended to females as well. So it's not just your sons. It will be your sons and your daughters. And apparently if, if your son used to be a girl, then he wouldn't have to go or however that works. I don't know. But I read y'all what it said. I wanted y'all to know what was happening. I'm interested to see what y'all think. And before you get off this video, please hit that like button, share and comment. All those things help this channel and it especially will help this video because videos like this, YouTube is not going to push it. That's why I worded it how I did. I try not to put anything in my title that would suggest to them that this is what I was going to be talking about. But so please hit that like, share and comment. And definitely, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. I am not just going to do news stories. I'm going to let you know that up front here. Um, there is a lot of news that's happening. There are a lot of things that y'all need to know. But I do have a life that I want to live and I want to share it. Um, and I intend to share it over here. So I hope that you guys support that on this channel and don't think that this is just going to be all news stories. Um, no, we're going to have moments where when I'm trying to relax, I'm going to share that with you so that you can relax from the things that are happening out here. But know that when you are relaxing, get back to doing what you need to do, which is stocking up your home preparing for emergencies, whether it's weather related or man-made and man-made and man-made could be the C-19 situation that we had, or it could be the WAR that we are potentially headed for. Um, so th to think that we could not see any kind of war on our um, land is to live in the dark if you're paying attention to everything that's happening. Um, and them being that close lets you see, lets you physically see that this could literally happen here on our land. We've had war here before when we had the 9-11, but this is up front and in your face as well. And hopefully we don't go down that path. All we can do is pray, plan, and prep. So do those three P's, so important. Pray, plan, and prep and do them in that order and let God guide your footsteps in your journey and what you need to do for your home, your, your family to make sure y'all are good. Because if something happened and communication goes down, you need to know that you're okay in your home, you're safe. Um, 
you have the food that you need, you have the medications that you need, that you don't have to go out and about into what is going to be chaos. If you remember the movie, Leave the World Behind, that is small compared to what will probably happen. So y'all take care, stay safe. This is not to scare you, but definitely to prepare you. I appreciate y'all being here. And I don't know if there'll be another video today. There may be. Um, but just turn your notifications on if you have not. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for being here. I see I have some new subscribers. I appreciate y'all joining and becoming a part of the family. I call you guys my cousins. What's up, cousins? How are y'all doing today? Don't let what I tell you affect your day. Just note it down. Go on with your day. Live your life. Live the best life you could possibly live because you only have one but know that you should stay prepared as well in the process. So y'all take care. And if your notifications ain't on, guess what I can't do? Well, I can do, but you won't hear it. You won't hear me call you if your notifications not on. So I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Lights TV and life. I, I'll call you. I'll call you.